Hey guys, Jordan Mills, Lakeport Fire. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys today about um, our radios and our new 22 uh, Pierce Enforcer Pumper. Um, we've equipped it with one Motorola APX 8500 all band, 110 watt command radio with two remote control heads, one on the engineer side and one on the captain side. We did the same thing with the 6500 VHF 50 watt radio for a tactical. Again, with uh, two remote control heads, one on the engineer side and one on the captain side. Now we're gonna go over the basic functions and features of these radios um, on our everyday use. Um, these radios are turned on by our battery. They're directly in, so when we turn the battery on, they're gonna go through their normal startup cycle, and they're gonna default to the last channel that they were on last. And so as they come on, you're gonna hear the uh, voice announcements. Um, give them one sec to go through their cycle. Local fire. So the command and the tactical bo both have a voice uh, channel announcements. Uh, we have them set to uh, voice announce on the zone themselves as well as the channel you're in. And we will go through the channels um, a little bit later. On the captain side, we have our command radio located here on the left and we have our tactical on the right. On the engineer's side, we got command here on the left and tactical on the right. Um, each radio has two speakers. As you can see on the engineer's side, we have a speaker located right above the head and one behind. Um, you're going to hear the command radio through those speakers. For our tactical, on the officer side, we have one right above the head and again, one right behind us. Some of the features um, of the radios I'm going to dive into now. Uh, as you can see, it says Red Tone 4, so we have pre-selected our primary command channel that will come on every time and you can see the zone is right above it. Um, for our attack, we have it preset to tack yellow to come on every time. Um, for our repeated channels, you'll see it's backlit red. And for our command, or excuse me, our attacks, we have uh, backlit green. Um, and then we have a mednet radio and our law enforcement that we have a backlit uh, blue. Um, so you can differentiate. You have a volume uh, control knob uh, right over here. Um, all the way down is not lowest volume. It actually zeroes out. Um, so, you know, there's times where we just need to hear tactical closely or something. We can turn this down. Um, but yeah, volume control. Uh, right under it, you got a lapel um, with a magnet that you can uh, talk directly on. Um, right below the volume control, you have a, a brightness. You can go all the way down and um, go through some of the settings there. Right down here, we have our controls for our zones. Okay. So each zone has a voice um, announcement and allows you to know uh, the type of channels you're gonna get into. Um, so I'll demonstrate here, you can go zone up. Local, state and MTC fire. So it's gonna tell you the type of zone you're gonna be in and through there you can actually take your uh, channel control knob and switch between uh, channels. And that also has a voice announcement um, on it. Over here, we have a, a scan. So there's times where we want to scan uh, throughout that zone, um, all those different channels. And you'll see, it'll say scan there, and you'll see a Z um, up in the left-hand corner. Scan off. This uh, radio is equipped with a direct mode. So there's times where we don't want to go through the repeater, line of sight. You need to talk to somebody really quick. You can hit direct. Right. It'll say direct, and you'll see these two lines with an arrow. And it'll allow you to not go to a repeater directly to who you're trying to talk to. Direct off. This radio is also equipped uh, with GPS. So if we're in an area where we need to land a helicopter, uh, we can actually get coordinates and you can hit over here location um, and find coordinates through there. Off to the right here, we have a home button. So if you're going through the different zones and you get lost, you can hold down this home button and it's gonna take you all the way back to our um, primary channel that we have every time we turn the rig on. Um, and then up here in the right hand corner, this orange button, it's a emergency. So there's, you know, you need to let everybody know uh, on the fire ground, something's up. You can hold that down and it's going to uh, send out an emergency and it's gonna hot mic uh, the radio where you can talk on it. So on a side note, not sure if I mentioned or not, um, we have our power buttons located for each uh, radio here on the left side of the volume control knob. Uh, the thing to remember with this is you can't actually turn off the radio physically by this button. 
Uh, it's a safety feature that um, you know you can't accidentally turn them off. Another thing to remember is both of these radios we cannot have on the same channel. Um, we are going to get major feedback. It's uh, basically if you took two portable radios and uh, keyed them together and held them up, you're going to get that uh, squelching feedback. Um, so just one thing to watch out for. So our command radio, which is our 8500 all band, 110 watt, is programmed identical to our tactical, which is our 6500 VHF, 50 watt. The only difference is with the command radio being all band, we have uh, our hospitals basically programmed in a zone um, with UHF frequency. So let's talk about how we control our volume. Um, for the whole system here. So we have basically two audio uh, sources that we're gonna be adjusting, okay? So one is gonna be our external um, speakers, and then the other is gonna be our headsets, okay? So for the external speakers, to adjust the volume control can only be done on the engineer's side, and that is gonna be via the actual volume control knob. Okay, with your command and or your tack. If we want to control or adjust the volume in our headsets, that can only be done from the officer side. Again, um, you can control here via the volume knob on your command and your tack. But with the headsets, which are fire comms, uh, you have the ability to adjust the volume on all the headsets um, on the right side. Um, also is equipped is a push to talk and on your firecom here you also have a volume control um, and you have radio a and b which you can uh, program to actually talk to so radio a would be your command radio b being your tag so we've also added two uh, remote push to talk uh, buttons so we can uh, freely talk to the command radio and or the tag uh, through our headsets. So the first one is located on the engineer side, uh, the red button here. Like I said, you can just press that and you can uh, talk through uh, the Firecom headset. Uh, the second one is over here um, on the uh, officer side. Uh, again, uh, same red push, to, uh, push button on this uh, custom fabricated uh, mounting system. So as far as the program of the radios goes, uh, we wanted to make it as user friendly as possible. Um, we also want to make it as close to our portable radios because we're used to those um, as possible too. And in doing so, we have added voice announcements for each zone um, as well as voice announcements uh, for the channels. Um, this is going to aid us in helping finding the, the right zones we need to be on if we go to different um, areas where we're not familiar with uh, the channels. Um, and an example would be a local fire, uh, say, you know, in Lake County, uh, we get a vegetation fire and um, it starts to get pretty big and they start adding different channels and one of the ones can be a CDF command too. And so in doing so, we can easily go up. Local, state, and MTC fire. So that voice fire. announcement tells CDF us command we need to two. be in that area. And right there, CDF command two is the one we need to be on. Another example where this is going to help us is if we go out of county, say to Mendocino, same thing, we can go up. Kelp. Kelp. Mendocino County Fire. It tells us exactly where we need to be. And then from Mendo there, Red. we can um, switch our channel to a Mendo Red, which is uh, going to be probably their primary. So, um, you know, if all else fails and we get lost, we have uh, created these quick reference cards uh, one for the attack, one for the command to help us uh, quickly. Um, see, you know, different zones and different channels within that. Uh, so I hope this video has helped. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed.